In this problem, too much information is given. This is important. A lot of math tests give you more information than what is given, and when you read when you read the question, you say, "Well, gee, how can I use all this information that's given?" Sometimes you can't. This is the question in point here. Jim lives 30 miles of winding road from his office. Ed lives 35 miles of straight road from Jim's office. The question is, Jim and Ed live 18 miles apart. So the, the question that you're asked to solve is, what is the difference in mileage that uh, Ed drives from Jim? And you say, well, gee, that's easy. Because you just take, we'll just take a little space here. That's easy because we have Jim that lives, uh, or Ed that lives 35 miles from, they both work out of the same office, and you subtract 30 miles from Jim, and it's equal to five. Okay, so the difference is five miles, but what about this, Jim and Ed live 18 miles apart. Does that have any significance? Well, let's just see. Let's suppose that Jim lives here. Here's the office. And here's, and this is uh, Jim. And Ed lives, he lives five miles further, so he's right here. So this is Ed. And they live 18 miles apart. So this is 18, 18 miles apart. Does that have any significance to the answer? Any answer is no. This is superfluous information right here. And what you're gonna do is waste time trying to figure out how does the 18 miles uh, figure into this? Because the only thing that's required here are these two distances right here this 18 means nothing. And there are a lot of tests that have this on there just to, just to make sure that you're aware of what the problem really means.